Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than nine years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's feeling like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program at marlenesmusic.com. Subscribe, follow, and invite your friends to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is no trick, just the treat of steel string facts. I once read an ad in a magazine, I believe it was Acoustic Guitar, that said, with any good guitar relationship, there are strings attached. It stuck with me, and boy, is that ever true for us guitarists. The playing relationship with our strings is important. You might even say it's critical. And it's especially helpful to know as much as possible about the strings you're playing so you can get your best sound. Similar to acoustic guitars themselves, guitar strings are also not a one-size-fits-all. There are variations in manufacturing and materials used, producing strings that are suitable for differing playing styles and sound outcomes. There are two kinds of acoustic guitar strings, steel and nylon. In this episode, I'll focus on steel acoustic guitar strings, but don't fret, haha, I'll focus on nylon strings in a future episode. By the way, if you'd like a little refresher on the differences between the two types of guitars, go back to the November 12th, 2020 episode, Nylon versus Steel, Understanding Acoustic Guitar Differences. Acoustic guitar steel strings are basically a more modern form of guitar strings, which descend, of course, from classical guitar nylon strings. Steel strings were developed and are used to create a brighter, louder sound. They are manufactured using various materials and come in various sizes. Your string choice will depend on your playing style or sound goals. So, to help you with those choices, I'll break the strings down by both the materials and the sizes. The materials used to manufacture steel strings include the core wire material and then a wrap wire material. The core wire is a high carbon steel wire. The wrap wire is a variety of alloys such as phosphor, bronze, copper, and zinc. And if you'd like to see a short video showing how steel strings are made, go to my Thursday Tips blog at marlenesmusic.com. The most common wrap wires for steel strings are phosphor bronze and 8020 bronze. The phosphor bronze strings have a warm, mellow sound and are resistant to corrosion, so that means they last a little longer than most strings. The 8020 bronze strings, made with 80% copper and 20% zinc, have a vibrant, bright, bell like tone, but have a shorter lifespan because they are susceptible to corrosion. Premium steel string innovations include coated strings, more exotic alloys, and even silk. Don't forget to join my podcast club today. You'll not only be showing your support for this podcast show, but you'll be a part of a group of like-minded and passionate guitarists. You'll receive previews of upcoming episodes Plus, you'll enjoy access to our monthly club meetings where we talk about all sorts of guitar subjects and topics. 
It's easy to join. So join today at the Join the Club link in the show notes or at marlenesmusic.com. As far as string sizes, there's a little bit of background info that will help you understand how they're referenced. When talking about string size, it's not the length that is referenced, it's the gauge. So when someone says they play 11s, that number is the gauge measurement of the smallest string. So that, of course, is string number one. The remaining strings have gauge numbers too, and that is noted on the packaging, but they are not referenced when talking about the string sizes. It's only the smallest string. A set of six strings is also referenced in terms of weight from extra light to extra heavy, and that term is based on the string gauge. Generally speaking, and this can vary from one manufacturer to another, extra light strings start at 0.10, so that's tens. Remember, that reference is the gauge of string one. Light strings generally start at 0.11, 11s, or 0.12, 12s. The extra light and light gauges are great for beginners because they're easier on the fingers and have low tension, so they're a little easier to play. These gauges are also ideal for lead guitarists, blues players, and fingerstyle players because the strings are generally easier to manipulate and are more responsive than heavier strings. The heavier gauges generally start at about 0.13, so 13s, and are well suited for someone who strums hard and is also ideal for slide guitarists. Ultimately, your string choice really comes down to your own personal preferences. If you're not sure or if you want to experiment a little bit, then I recommend trying a few different brands, string materials, and sizes to find your string sweet spot. Then those string attachments will create a good guitar playing relationship. Hey everyone, if you like this episode, please subscribe and follow the podcast. Thank you. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on.